Hello everyone, welcome to this video. What we'll be talking about tonight is a new server stack, a new software stack. The software stack that we'll be going over tonight is called LIMP. That's L as in light, E as in Edward, M as in Mike, and P as in Papa. So let's go ahead and begin. First we'll go ahead and start off with those acronyms. So I created a little a uh, little presentation here. LIMP. So, this is a server stack. It's like all of the other server stacks that you may or may not be aware of, except this one is dealing with uh, Linux. That's going to be the operating system. And that's what the L stands for. And then the E stands for Engine X. That's a web server. We're going to be installing that. And then there's Maria Database. That is needed in the LIMP stack. And then for the last, it's going to be a scripting language known as PHP. And so that's going to be our server stack. I consider it a full stack because it's going to be dealing with both uh, front end and back-end technologies. And the reason why I say that, uh, Nginx is going to be the web server. That's going to be dealing with the, with the back-end part. And so is MariaDB. And uh, for all intents and purposes, so will PHP. But eventually what we're going to do is we're also going to install WordPress. WordPress has some of the some of, um, some of its software that will be front end facing. And we'll go over all that as we go through the video series. So let's go ahead and open up our server. We will be installing the LIMP stack onto uh, an Ubuntu server 22.04. And just to show you what I got here. Here it is right here. This is my Ubuntu server 22.04 and it's point .2. Uh, it is an LTS series. That's why I like installing Ubuntu servers because they have the long-term service uh, agreement with their products. All right, so let's begin. And since the first part of our uh, stack is L for Linux, we already have Linux installed on this. However, if you would like to see the installation of Ubuntu Server 22.04, I do have a video of the whole process of installing this server. I will include that in the uh, description links uh, when I upload this video or when this video is being uploaded. So other than that, let's go ahead and begin with the installation. The next letter in the LIMP stack, which is E, that stands for Nginx. Let's go ahead and install Nginx. And we're going to do that with the sudo command. Because in, to install any package, any software on, um, on, a, on the server, you're going to require um, uh, sudo writes, which is the same thing as root writes. So the command will be for Nginx, sudo space apt space install space and then at this point I normally use the Y flag or switch whichever you prefer to call this because I don't like to answer all the questions I just want to go ahead and get it downloaded you can install this package either with the switch like I'm gonna do or without the switch without the switch when you go through the installation of a package, it's just going to ask you, are you sure you want to continue with the installation? So I already know I'm gonna, my, my answer is going to be yes, so I went ahead and accepted and put in the Y switch. So this is the command that we're going to use. Once I press enter, it's going to prompt me for my password. Oh, I must have already logged in and and uh, with sudo earlier. So it's going through with the installation process. Should be over with in just a few moments. Okay, we have that installed. Excellent. So 
The next thing that we're going to install is going to be from the M part of the LIMP stack. That's going to be for MariaDB. MariaDB is a database, and we're going to need that for when we install um, uh, WordPress. WordPress needs a database so that they can go ahead and uh, have all of its uh, features and functions, such as storing passwords and user usernames and things like that. As a matter of fact, WordPress is considered a CMS, that stands for Content Management System. We'll go over that later throughout the video series. So, let's go ahead and install the next thing, which is, as we said, MariaDB. So, to run that command, it's going to be very similar. I'm just going to hit the up arrow on the keyboard, and instead of Nginx, I'm going to take that out, and I'm going to put in Maria db dash server that should be the package name of the database that we want to install and then from there I'm just going to go ahead and press enter and that package should be installed in just a few moments we'll give it a few moments We're at 95%. We should be done soon. Very good. Okay. And so the final thing that we want to install today is going to be for the P, and that's going to be for the scripting language known as PHP. Now, depending on when you look at this video, the different versions of PHP is going to be different. But I think for this version, as of May uh, 9th, 2023, I think the current version of P that we need, uh, PHP that we need to install is going to be 8.1. So to make sure, what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick search. So I'm going to first of all clear the screen, and you can do that either by typing in the word clear, or on your keyboard, you can press both the control button and the L, L is in light, at the same time. That will clear the screen as well. Excellent. Now, let's go ahead and um, install some, or let's go ahead and do a search on the PHP and see what, what's the latest versions that they have available. PHP is in the repositories, repositories for Ubuntu, so you should be able to do a simple search. So we can do an apt search. And since we're not going to be installing anything, we're just searching for it, we don't need the pseudo rights to do to look at this. Uh, I'll just do a PHP, search PHP, and then press enter, see what comes up. Okay, we got quite a few things here. Let's see what we got. I think we're going to narrow down the search parameters though a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. So let's do this. Let's clear the screen again. We're going to up arrow, hit the same command. And then we're going to do a pipe and then a less so that we can go page by page. Okay. And then what we're going to do is while we're in this section, we're going to do a search. So let's do a search for forward slash PHP, and then we'll do an 8. And then I'll press Enter. Okay. And what we're going to do is continue. I'm hitting the Enter button. We're going to go ahead and continue doing hitting the Enter button until we see PHP 8. Let's see, and we'll see it because it's highlighted. Okay, and then if we have to hit the back button on the keyboard, all I do is hit the B button, B as in Bravo, and that'll go back a page. Okay, and to move the page forward, I hit the space bar. So it's looking like the um, latest re release of PHP is 8.1.
Let's see. Yep, that's what it looks like. Hmm. We'll just keep on doing a search and see what we can figure out here. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like the latest release is 8.1. So we'll go ahead and put that in. Looks like these are some of the, we need to download PHP 8.1 itself, and then we'll download some of these extensions, at least the ones that we know that uh, WordPress will be interested in. And so, yeah, looks like we got some things here. I know CLI is one of them, Common is gonna be another one, Curl, Let's see, what else we got going on here? GD, FPM. Okay, so looks like we got uh, quite a few, quite a few uh, PHP extensions slash plugins that we can put in. All right, so let's go ahead and quit out of this, and let's go ahead and start. As I say, we already know some of the plugins or extensions that we're going to need to use for PHP. So let's go ahead and start putting them in. So we'll do a sudo apt install minus y. And then I know I need a PHP 8.1. Then I'll need a PHP 8.1 dash gd. Then a PHP 8.1 dash curl and PHP 8.1 dash common then a PHP 8.1 dash what was that other one CLI and PHP 8.1 dash let me see what was it uh, I think it was image let's see if we can tab that out uh, let's see. Yep, there it is. Um, we got CLI, so let's do that one. Uh, let's see. We also need PHP 8.1 dash MySQL. I know that's one. And let's see. We'll probably need a few more, but I think that's good enough to start with, so that's enough for those. We'll need these, these PH, these are called PHP extensions. Um, we'll need those so that they can communicate with the uh, WordPress application, as I mentioned earlier. And so from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and press enter, and it should start installing them. Okay, we're at 30% now. That shouldn't take too much longer. Should be installing them in all and complete it with them in just a few more moments. Then after we do this, we're gonna go ahead and um, test our Nginx um, web server and make sure that it's up and running. And I'll show you how to do that after this is completed. Okay, looks like we're just about done. All right, we're good. We're gonna go ahead and clear the screen. All right, now, um, a P8, oh, as I said earlier, Nginx, that's a web server, as most of you probably do or do, don't know. And um, what we're gonna start off with is first looking to see if the port that it normally runs on, which is port 80 for HTTP and port 8, uh, port 443, which is HTTPS, we're not going to worry about that just yet. But we do want to see if we can find out which ports that is already listening on. And to do that command, we're going to do a sudo 
space SS for, se for secure socket space minus and then these are going to be the flags or switches that we want to look for T U L P N T standing for TCP IP U is for UDP IP L is for what port we're going to be listening on P is for the port number and N is for also for the number so after we do that we just press enter all right we see that it it is listening on port 80 that's a good sign okay and so the next thing we want to do let's go ahead and clear that screen the next thing we want to do um, let's go ahead and see which um, which which are the default uh, uh, file directory for this website for the nginx default website uh, one of the ways we could do that is if we press the if we type in the letters or the word which space engine X and then press enter okay we see here that engine X is I don't think that that's it that may be one of the places engine X is in but I think it's in the var dub dub files let's see let's go ahead and switch over there CD space var dub dub zulu x okay all right and then we we have html so let's go ahead and uh change directory into html okay nginx is in here all right very good let's go ahead and cd back to our home directory now last thing we want to do is we want to look for the server ip address okay uh and to do that we want to type in ip space a space s um and this is the shortcut a usually means address and s means show so if you want to you can go ahead and type that out uh completely but i just used the shortcut which is a for address and s is for show and then i press enter all right and we see that we have an ip address here so i want to take this and then i want to go to my local machine open up a browser i want to type i want to put in this ip address and it should come up but it's not coming up so I think the reason why it's not coming up is because the other thing that we need to do is we need to check the firewall. We need to see if the firewall has set it open so that we can receive requests from port 80. Okay, We can make a response out from port 80, but can we receive anything inbound from port 80? And it doesn't look like we can. So let's go ahead and just close this, minimize our browser, Go back to our terminal, clear the screen, and for Ubuntu 22.04, the firewall that we'll be using today is UFW, that stands for Uncomplicated Firewall. Um, it is a front end for IP tables, and it's a very simple and quick firewall to use. I love it. So the first thing we want to do is check on the firewall status. And you do need root rights for this, so we run the command sudo space ufw space status, and then we press enter. Okay, so as we can see, the firewall is not set for for listening in on port 80. We can also look and see if um, nginx services is up and running. You do that with the sudo command, and then that's systemctl space status, and then nginx. Press enter. Okay, so we see nginx is active and running and is set to be reloaded every time we reboot the computer. So the settings are good. So I think the problem is, is that we need to open up uh, port 80 on our firewall. <clears throat> so
So in order to do that, we need to run this command. That's going to be sudo space u of w space, and then we type in allow space, and then it's going to be port 80 for TCP. Press enter. The rule has been added. Let's just make sure sudo u of w, and then status, and then press enter. All right, so as we can see, the rules have been successfully added for port 80. All right. The only other thing we need to do now is reload our uh, firewall so that it can accept the new policy. So the way we do that is going to be sudo space u of w space reload. All right. The new firewall is up and it is running. So let's go back to our browser, open up our browser, open up a new tab, and type in our address again. All right, this time after we press enter, Nginx should show up. Oh, let me see here. It says that we have Apache 2. Oh, that's interesting. I've never, I have not installed Apache 2. Huh. That's weird. I must have Apache 2 installed from a previous, uh, previous engagement. Let me look and see here. Where is... Apache 2. Wow, we do have Apache 2 on here. So, why don't we go ahead, because we don't want to have two uh, web servers up at the same time. So, let's go ahead and resolve this by turning off Apache 2. And that, that will be auto remove minus y Apache 2. We'll go ahead and remove Apache 2. Didn't know that was up. And then just to make sure, we will go ahead and see if we can purge it to make sure everything for Apache 2 has been erased. OK. And then we will, just to make sure, let's go ahead and restart the services for Nginx. It's going to be through sudo systemctl. We're going to do a restart. And then Nginx. All right, that was successful. OK. Well, that was, uh, that was weird. Well, let's see if we can get Nginx up and running now. So we go ahead and type in the IP address again and see what happens. And lo and behold, we have Nginx up and running. And that is our default web server at this time. All right, well, I think that's a good place for us to start. Or I apologize. I think that's a good place for us to stop. We've installed the full LAMP stack so far. We installed uh, Linux. And as I said, if you're interested in how to install Linux, I do have that, that a video on that. I will go ahead and include it in the links in the description. We installed Nginx. And we installed MariaDB. And we installed PHP. So thank you for looking at this video. Uh, I hope you, you gained some knowledge and value out of it. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll go over some more uh, applications and, and some more configurations with our Lint server. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you have a good night and evening and day wherever you are. Thank you and have a good night.